In this tutorial, I will show you how we can model this very interesting shape here. And this will be your result from the tutorial. And then also later, obviously, you can just bring it into Cinema 4D or Blender, whatever, and do whatever you want with it. This tutorial is broken down into two pieces. In the first tutorial, which you're watching now, we will model the base form with all of those base surfaces. And you will learn absolutely amazing techniques and workflows how to do this kind of curved organic uh, shapes. And in the second tutorial, which I will upload tomorrow, so um, subscribe if you want, so you can then uh, follow that, we will create the fillets because when you have very uh, complex organic uh, mixed in with hard edges, design shapes and forms, the fillets are, yeah, have to be created manually and you also have to create this kind of Y blends. But you see with the reflection, we have beautiful fading in uh, or splitting fillets. So this will be in our next tutorial tomorrow. It's a lot of fun. And let's dive in into our first tutorial. And just a very quick uh, reminder, if you want to learn more about plasticity in much more depth, where you learn the most powerful and basic fundamental techniques and workflows to model literally everything that you want. I have some courses and also currently our winter sale is going on where yeah, you can learn much more complex objects like helmet, motorcycle, power tools, cars, different uh, types of products, sci-fi design. So there's literally everything what you could need. And everything is step by step, very much in detail with a lot of theory practices and exercises. So you really understand and learn plasticity in the best possible, most efficient, quickest way. So check out first link in the description if you wish to. And now let's dive in. All right. So link in the description or just type in source vortex sensor on Google Maps. Download that image onto your desktop and let's bring it as a reference into plasticity and first of all let's press tab and select this cube press x to delete it and now here to the top right click on the cube so we see on, on the top and now uh, you can just drag and drop that in the top view so drag that here and perfect and now select that image and press g and g and let's just bring it here roughly to the middle something like that and now with g let's bring it down a little bit and press m for the material mode and just press here to the front and opacity 0.3 and now just click here on the left on the lock so we don't uh, select it all the time in the viewport so I'll select the lock here so first of all we will create here this rectangular shape with some fillets and the same here for the small one like that and then we have to so here the fillet will start and here so this fillet and the same this fillet here and then we will take this point from this curve and create a curve which will connect to this fillet right so we will just do it once because then we can just um, yeah array that all over and then we will start to create here three curves that will yeah, guide our surface that we will create then afterwards and then we will just yeah create here this nice surface and then again bring it or array that all over and this is how we will create the shape so very simple and very fun so let's start here with the center rectangle, just snap to the center and drag that out and make sure you drag out so it's snapping to the square, so it's a square like that. And now press O to offset and let's just offset the second square like that. Right click and press two edge mode, select this square, press B for fillet and let's create here a nice fillet right click the same here press b and let's just create here a nice fillet something like that and now select this curve here in the middle and with g just um, bring it up a little bit something like that 
So I will just guess a little bit how high it is. And perfect. And now if you press one, now you see the individual points. And the thing is, we have to, um, uh, because we can't select the individual points from the individual edges. So we have to unjoin everything. Um, so just press two, select both of those curves and press Alt J to unjoin because now you see we have a lot of those curves and all of those sections are separate. And this is what we want because let's go again to the top view and let's hide this edge with edge uh, with H select that and now select this fill it and press H to hide it. And if you press one, now you see we can select this point from this edge and this point from this curve or fillet or edge. And this is exactly what we want. So select this one and this one. So this and this because those is, uh, is uh, where we have this nice curve. And now you can just press L to loft them. And now you see you get something like that. So let's go to the top view. And while you're in the loft, you can here adjust a little bit. So you see those little um, yeah, things. I don't know, like right now the word. So we can just adjust it. And you see we, we can get very close to the shape. And yeah, just try to get as close as possible because we will anyway adjust it in a second a little bit. But it's just very important that you use G2 and here G2 um, because then we get those two control point curves for one edge. So also here and here for, for this edge. And that means we, we can um, leave the first one and the first one here because this will be then our G1 point. So it will be continuity here. So um, yeah, without going too much into the details, it's, um, it will be just uh, smooth later, but we can re or we can adjust the second points a little bit. So what that means is that, um, yeah, but actually it looks okay. So let's right click for a second because now we have those points. And now if you want, you can just take either this point or this point. So again, leave the first points from the curve. So this one and this one as is, but we can adjust those a little bit. And also if you want, so yeah, let's go here to the back view. We can just take again, this one in the middle and let's go here to the back and maybe, oh yeah, right. So the thing is, we see here on the reference image, so let me show it to you. We see that this curve goes like a little bit more upwards, right? So we see that with the shading. So those, so this first fillet here, it's higher, I think, than our uh, rectangle, uh, recta uh, than our rectangle here. So that means we can just take this second point, so not the first one, the second point and go to the uh, any side view and press G and just bring it up a little bit. Right click. Okay, so something like that. So we have this curve a little bit higher than our rectangle. And let's see. And then maybe let's select this point. And with G also maybe bring it a little bit up. Okay, so we just have a nice curve and you see this looks nice. Let's go to the top view and see if everything still looks good. And this looks very good. And now let's bring back our curves that we hidden. So press Alt H and press two. So you just see the curves and it should be fine. Again, it's, it's needs, will need probably some adjustment later, but this is okay for now. Okay. So, now we can take the sec uh, so this curve here and press F to find all the commands and type in array, type in radial array and just snap it here to the middle and select here uh, four of them. So we have four and you see this looks already very nice. And now 
we have to study the shape a little bit. So we will need here a curve. We will need, for example, here somewhere a curve and here somewhere a curve uh, to guide the shape a little bit and um, yeah, to give it some rounding and stuff. And then we can start to fill in everything. And this is how we create our nice, interesting shape here. So again, we just have to do it on, on one side. So let's create here a line, sh Shift A on the left. And yeah, probably something like, I, I will just snap to the fillet endpoint and now to the curve, something like that. And just make sure that they are connected. If they're not connected, the point is green. If they are connected, the point is purple. So something like that. Then let's hide that image here. So I just press here on the sun. So it's a little bit confusing. And yeah, let's create another one. Uh, shift A line and just go to the second curve here, snap to the curve and snap yeah, somewhere here in the middle. So we have to see something like that. We have to see if this will work. And then here also at the end, it's also just straight here. So again, create a line. And again, just from curve to curve, something like that. Okay. Now we have to fill in the surface. And if you use X nerves, you can probably just select all of those boundary edges and just uh, smash an X nerve on it. But you see, it does not work because those curves they are like connecting to another curve, but they are like not um, yeah intersect. So they're intersecting, but. It's just one long section and this curve just meets it in the directly in the middle. So what we want to do is select, select those three curves that we just created and now just select all of those curves which touch them. So this whole section. And first of all, we can just press point now. So the dot, um, I don't know like what is, um, this is for you in English, but you can also just press F and here isolate. So yeah, that's the point. So let's isolate it so we can just focus on that a little bit. And now while those are all selected, press Alt J. Because now you see every section is now individual and this will be now better, but now we also have to, so let's start first with those uh, big shapes. So with this one, for example, but for that we have to, so between those two curves, we have those two long curves, which are again broken into two. So let's just select them both. So this one and this one, shift click and press J to join them. So we just have one curve because only this way the patch will really work. And also this curve and this curve and J and now we can select those and loft them. And shift click this edge and this edge and we should get a surface. So you can also use probably you can select them and just uh, smash a, a patch or even an X nerve. And again, we will not do it absolutely 100% perfect. I just want to show you like the basic technique and workflow that can be then refined later. But let's just uh, loft that here. Something like that, right? So this looks okay. And now let's do this section. Again, we have those two long curves and we have to join them first with pressing J. So here's one and here's one. And now we have to hide this curve. So select the curve, which is blue and hide it. So we have the black edge because then we can just use the edge from the surface and use continuity. So select this edge to this curve, loft, keep a G1 and shift click and shift click and it should work. If something does not work for you, then probably your curves are not connected. 
um, but something like that. And now let's do here at the end the same. Again, select this curve first and this curve. So both of those blue curves are selected and hide them because we need the edge from the surface. And now we have to patch that. So let's select this triangle and just patch it and give it here G1. And you see that looks <laughs> actually very, very nice. It looks very good. And the same here, select that, that and that. Let's patch it. And this does not work. Okay, so let's try to love those with loft and shift click here G1, you see? So this works then. Right click. And this looks nice. And now to get out of the isolated mode, just click in the viewport and press point again. So you just uh, bring that back. And this looks good. I'm just checking. And now press tab to select uh, here all the modes and select this surface, this surface, this surface and J to join it. So we just have one surface. And again, go to the top view and while the surface is selected, press F and array, radial array, again, around the middle, select four, right click. And now let's press two to select all the curves and press H to hide them. And now you can here toggle the edges and this looks nice. And now press four to join them, all of those surfaces, join them. And now you can just close this hole, press two and so edge mode and just alt click here this hole and you can just patch it with G0, right click. And if we check it, I really like it. And now the very important thing that we will have to do is we will have to add fillets here. But the thing is you can't select any of those edges and just give them a fillet because it's way too complex geometry. So in the next tutorial, which I will post tomorrow, we will just focus on the fillets because yeah, there will be like some manual work, but it will give us absolutely incredible uh, results. And it will teach you like a very, very important manual fillet, te uh, fillet technique. And again, if you're interested, currently my winter sale is going on where you can save up to 65% uh, on my plasticity course bundles, where you can learn plasticity in much more depth, much more complex um, objects. You learn the absolute step by step. You learn the absolute fundamentals and most important techniques and workflows. Everything completely step by step. Everything explained with a lot of practices and exercises and theory. So yeah, very, very powerful. And leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the tutorial that we will do tomorrow, the fillets.